I'm in France and I just realised that France is the last country before I get back to my home country. Last time on Races to Places, Basil and Lyndon pulled up at the Motorex factory, Langenthal. Well, it's getting closer to home. Now we're in France. I'm in France, and I just realized that France is the last country before I get back to my home country. But don't worry, because it's not the last country of races to places. Making their way through France. I bet Basil is looking forward to a good rest once he's home. So here we are on Races to Places, uh, last day in France, uh, just stopped in a small village uh, and got a really warm welcome by a, local, uh, a lot of local riders which was really nice, uh, people that have been following me on the internet and just sat and had lunch with them but uh, met someone with a really incredible story and we do often meet people with stories as I travel around the world but this is one that's very different so I'd like to introduce Thomas, come across Thomas. Um, Thomas has an incredible story, I mean you, you so 11 years ago, yeah. um, you found out you had to have a lung transplant and you was told that between expect it to last maybe three to five years, maybe there'll be some complications, you have to do it again. 11 years on, today, you've still got the same lungs. Exactly. Now what's even more incredible is that two years after having the lung transplant, you decided to pass your motorcycle test and now, 11 years after, you're about to embark on a trip around Europe, 27 countries, and you'll be the first person to do it with yeah. somebody else's lungs. And I think that is a pretty incredible story. So, Thomas, I wish you all the best. Have a fantastic time. And tell everybody what's your full name so that they can find you if they want to look you up. Thomas? Uh, my uh, Instagram account is uh, Thomas underscore Le Bouvier. Le Bouvier. Yeah, okay. Le Bouvier. And uh, you can uh, follow me on the Facebook page as uh, Thomas Le Bouvier as well. Thomas Le Bouvier, good. Yeah. All right, all the best, Thomas. Thanks, man. Nice to meet you. <laughs> well, what a legend Thomas is. Definitely check out his journey on social media. <laughs> there you go, Basil. You are all the way back home. This is your pass back into the United Kingdom or the British Isles for the first time in five years. In a few days time we'll be back in the UK or back in England uh, but first we're going to visit Jersey and uh, have a quick look around for a couple of days, do a presentation even in there and then back to the UK. Um, but uh, I'm looking forward to getting home. Uh, I'll be home a week tomorrow and uh, that will mark uh, the end of the huge uh, global adventure that we've been on. 
but it's not the end of Races to Places, there's going to be a lot more in the coming years and I'm really excited to share some of that with you. Um, it's been an epic adventure, let's go and enjoy Jersey for a few days, have a look around the island. It's uh, over probably about 30 years ago when I was last in Jersey so it'll be nice to have a look around uh, and see how the islands uh, progressed or changed over time. Just off the coast of Normandy, France, you'll find Jersey. Its capital is St. Helier, and it has a population of roughly 106,000 people. Jersey is also famous for the milk that its cows produce. And there is Jersey. Passport control, back to the British Isles. Woo On the island of Jersey, Lyndon and Basil will be staying with a local called Nige, and today he's invited Lyndon to take part in the park run. Here we are in Jersey, um, and this morning I got talked into the park run. So, <laughs> beautiful day. I'm just going to start the park run here in Jersey. So, if you're doing a park run today, good on you. Jersey Park Run takes place every Saturday morning at 9 a.m., where runners are timed over the five kilometre course. I know it's got the easy ride there. Hello. About halfway. Come on now, spin finish, spin finish, come on. <laughs> come on Nigel, 200 meters to go. How does it feel? <laughs> well done. Whew, that's my park run complete. Pretty good, uh, let's see what we did. Uh, where is it? Yeah, 24 minutes, not a bad time. 5Ks, beautiful day here today, unbelievable. Today, Lyndon and Basil are doing a bit of sightseeing and the first stop is the local zoo. Alright folks, here we are in windy Jersey today and um, today we're going to head down to Biker's Jersey. People are probably thinking, what is Biker's Jersey? Well, Biker's Jersey is a KTM dealership, the only KTM dealership um, on the island of Jersey and uh, they're not just KTM, I believe they're Ducati, Harley-Davidson and other bikes as well. Uh, 
I don't know for sure, but I dare say the biggest dealership on the island. And they've been supporting Races to Places and all my projects since 2012 with KTM Parts and helping me out um, with my travels and all kinds. And, uh, you know, to have the opportunity to go and see the guys, uh, say hello to all the people that keep shipping and packaging me parts all over the world. Uh, and that is the day today. So let's get on the bike and go for a ride down to Georgetown and meet the guys. Bikers Jersey is the island's official KTM dealer. Located at Georgetown in the 2,500 square feet showroom, you'll find a fine selection of motorcycles, clothing, parts, and above all, a really laid back atmosphere. been in the British Isles for a couple of days and I'm already in trouble. Um, this license plate, yeah I know, it was kind of one that I made and on the road somewhere after the other one broke I got smashed so that one's out. Now I've got to put this billboard on so this is the legal UK one for arriving in the UK tomorrow. I'm going to bolt that on there. <laughs> Chocolate milk. I'm coming here again. Not just any milk, not just any chocolate milk, but Jer Jersey chocolate milk. Good chocolate milk, that one. I think the ASO need to get a contract with Jersey Dairy for chocolate milk because this is real good. <laughs> Well, it's time to board the ferry. Next stop, England. So some of you uh, might realize that the microphone's been a bit shitty lately on, uh, on uh, my trip. And uh, I just managed last minute to get this new Cena microphone. So I'm gonna get that fitted for the last week riding through the UK. Hopefully you'll be able to hear me better without all this interference that we've been having on the microphone lately. A little bit late, but glad to have it finally. Thanks to Bikers Jersey for coming and dropping this off. Last minute I forgot to get it when I was there earlier. But they've just uh, raced down and dropped it off for me, so... Sweet! Well, here we are on the ferry, uh, just got to Guernsey on the way back uh, from Jersey to the UK. Uh, got on the boat in Jersey, got a really warm welcome. Uh, got welcomed by the crew when I arrived on the boat and um, they've even arranged a bridge visit for me. So as soon as we leave here, leave Guernsey, I'm going to go up the bridge and uh, see the captain and the crew of the boat that will take me back to the UK. So uh, first time that I'll be with Basil Bike back in the UK for five years and two months and uh, I'm looking forward to it. The crossing back to England will take roughly three hours and what a great day it is to be up on the deck. Thank you. Cheers. Thank 
Next time on Races to Places, we're back Thank into England. Cheers. Thank you very much. Cheers. Hi everyone, thanks so much for watching Races to Places. Please check out the link to my Patreon page below where you can find special features and pre-released episodes of Races to Places. I look forward to your messages and comments on there.